Hey everybody, this is gonna be the first of a couple uh, videos that I wanna do on the rebuilding or refurbishing of this 1976 uh, Sportster XLCH1000. Um, it's an iron head. Got it from my dude Warner Pool over at Greasy Town. And we got through a bunch of stuff just getting this thing up and going. We've done a bunch of things to it, so um right now we're just working on getting the pinion gear lined up with the oil pump so that's where we're going to start um i was going to do just push rod seals and all that stuff and when i got the cam out i realized um when going to line it back up the service manual said to you know line the pinion gear at noon with the advance mark and then the uh oil gear the dot on there was way far off the mark so we had to get a puller and that'll go through all that everything in the video but i just wanted to say this will be the first of a, a series of videos we'll do and just putting the bike back together this winter and we'll see how it goes i just want to document it i'm a at-home wrencher and uh, i just love old motorcycles and bringing new life into them um, we did the 75 cb 550 super sport uh, a few years ago and it's just a ripper, so I want to uh, see if I can uh, recreate my luck with uh, this Harley Davidson. And it's been running, but it's leaking, and it, um, it's got like really, really bad mid throttle response with the Super V. So I got a master jet kit for that, um, and a bunch, bunch of other stuff. So we're gonna do all that. We're gonna just make videos for all of that shit, bringing this chopper back to life we're just going to document the build and all the weirdness and just see uh where it takes us so hopefully you like it and you'll be along for the ride or you won't whatever let me know what you think um leave your thoughts tips whatever anything else that you might want to go over i'm just learning so but i'm willing to search for the information and try it out here myself so uh enjoy all right we got our Pinion gear off of the shaft using this guy that we bought, Sifton removal tool for like 80 bucks. Comes with the piece to put the pinion gear back on, so we're going to do that right now. All right, so I was having a problem before with the motorcycle where this dot here was over here when the advance mark was in the timing window. So we removed the pinion gear like it says to in the manual with the puller tool and we took the oil gear off and we lined this guy up now so when we slide the gear on the oil mark well it's not perfect but it gets pretty much as close to that window as possible with the advance mark at the middle on the other side and then this hash mark also here indicating at noon as well so if we try to move it out another tooth like this way you can see that it's just too much on that side so i'm gonna i'm not sure if i want it to be uh that that looks like it's gonna do right right i don't know right there maybe because the gear Okay, the gear is going to get pressed on and it needs to have 5 sixteenths of space from the, uh, from the case. So I'm going to guess that maybe that I'm not sure if I want it to be either forward because that looks too far out of the window then. Then what? this uh, oh sorry wrong one too far that one that looks closer in the window to me maybe 
All right, so what I've decided to do is I'm gonna leave it spaced on the left side just a little bit. So when I press the gear in with the pin, when I press the this rear oil gear in with the pinion gear, it might push this far enough that I, I can't get it with my hand, I, I think, but it may move it forward just slightly to fit the window. So I'm gonna say that this is probably good rather than over here pressing it in and then ending up back again where I was and having to take it out again. So I'm gonna leave it here and we're gonna put the pinion gear back on. So let's do that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our pinion gear back on and we can see here, uh, we have the bigger mark with the hash here for the cam alignment. So we're gonna line that up to the shaft and it's gonna sit on there like that just for now. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our left-hand thread uh, removal and installation rod and we're going to screw it onto the drive shaft like so. All right. Then after that, we're going to take our installer, push that there, and we take the removal tool and we're going to put it on backwards this time. I know I didn't make a removal video, but I have a short time lapse that I'll throw in here uh, of the removal. Uh, it's basically the opposite. So when you remove the gear, it goes on over the gear like so, and then you uh, put this blunt end onto the drive shaft. It fits right in that cup there. And then you drive this left hand to pull the pulley off. So a handy tool, but uh, for the installation, it's gonna be uh, opposite. We're gonna put it on like this, and we're still gonna left hand thread it all the way down. All right, so now that we have the installer on, we'll take our, well, seven eighths, and it's a little big to work in here because the starter is still here and this front uh, front foot assembly here. So we're gonna do some chopper shit. We're gonna take our handy dandy fucking crescent wrench, wherever it is around here. Here you go, ah, here you go, and uh, I got to put my hands down to do this because it's in gear. So I'm just going to hold the front brake down and we're going to left hand turn this to zoop, install that thing right back onto the drive shaft. Uh, I was just kidding. We are not going to use this crescent wrench. We're going to use this one. So I've had a little bit of trouble with my install and you can see here with the uh, install piece here all the way flat like this, I was thinking that this is going to be my 5 16th spacer against the cam case. I think that's probably right, but maybe what I can do is, um, what's happening basically is this piece here uh, is bottoming out against the nut here. So I have, you can see this is not, this is not tight now. So I have a little bit ways to go. I have like another, I don't know, just a little bit. So I'm gonna snug it up just a hair and then I'm gonna slide this on just to make sure that it is flush. It, I have my 5 16 gap. Um, between the crankcase. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it like, like this here and then push down because I think that still, if I look at it correctly, this is still 5 16 So essentially, if this is going on like this, this should still, this should bottom out right at 5 16 still. Uh, so we're gonna try that out and 
see what happens now. All right, so that didn't work either. So uh, you can see I still have all that free play back there. So we're gonna show you how to pull this off after all because it's gotta come back off now. So awesome. All right, so you can see here how the tool fits on to the shaft, right? It goes on the end there. Hold that seven eighths, crank that five sixteenths, I think, something like that. Yeah, so hold that, crank that, and the gear gets pulled off the or the pin. It gets it gets pulled off the thing. All right, so attempting to reverse the installer didn't work. So uh, what I think we're gonna do is put the gear on as far as we can, and then we'll take the, uh, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Hello? Ah, here we go. All right, so we'll take this and uh, we'll install the gear as far as we can, and then we're gonna tap a socket over this to finish it the rest of the way. So we'll see how that does. another thought I had that maybe the tool um, actually goes on and installs like uh, this instead of the way that we put it on but um, I still think that that's going to leave the right amount of space between the cam case bushing and the gear so we're just going to leave it how it is and uh, I think we did it the right way. All right, so uh, before we call it a night, I just wanted to put these two cam gears in just to make sure that our hash marks here and our hash marks here, boom, are lining up. Uh, so we're gonna be good to go. I'm gonna guess that there's probably a little bit of wear or something in the oil pump. So maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll rebuild that at some point, but the engine is in the frame, so it's just gonna have to fucking hold on so cool all right so that seemed to work just tapping the rest of it in with the socket and the and the uh plastic mallet so i can tell here now that the uh this is this is all flush here so it doesn't feel like it's over pressed in when i lined this up it seemed to stop the gear right i don't know if you can see that or not but it is basically flush with the thing now and i measured this if we can i don't know if i can do this with two hands but or one hand but if we here, let's see if we can do this So, if we measure this, I'm gonna guess that this is probably to the, it's 5 16 for the bushing on the cover. So, I wanna say that that is, that is, focus, focus. That is about, if I can keep my fucking hand still, Jesus. That is about five sixteenths. So, when I put this up here too as well, when I put it flush with the case, you can see that this also is like five sixteenths from the gear case. So, uh, I don't have a ton of play uh, anymore back here. I have like virtually none. And I don't want to really tap it in any further, but uh, it feels like it's on there. And our oil hole is in a focus. 
much better position here than before when it was fucking clear over here. So we are gonna call this uh, done. Woohoo! Next video, we'll uh, put the, uh, the cam gears and the uh, generator gear back in. We'll line it all up. We'll put a new paper washer uh, on the generator gear and then we will uh, clean all this fucking bullshit off. I got a new gasket uh, and then we'll put the cover back on. We'll put the generator back in and then probably after that we'll go ahead and I have all the push rods um, and all the lifters and shit with new gaskets and new o-rings uh, ready to go in so we're going to clean up this surface a little bit as well uh, and just kind of get this ready to go we got some new stuff coming in we have a bracket for the uh, intake manifold because I've got the SNS Super B uh, right here so we're going to support that a little bit I've also got the new brass oil lines that are going to go in here and uh, we're gonna just get all this kind of cleaned up and ready to go in the interim. So, uh, hope you learned something. Appreciate you watching. Do all that YouTube stuff where you like, subscribe, and uh, all that other stuff. Comment, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching.